into his hands of marriage, these two people now come to be united. Glenn, Kevin, and Natalia, I remind you of the seriousness of your decision to be married, your love for one another, and your constant and continuous commitment to your vows will result in a marriage which is blessed, peaceful, and a relationship that will flourish. I ask, each, I ask all of you now witnessing this event with the expression and the seriousness of deep affection for Glenn and Natalia. If any person that can show just cause why they be not lawfully married at this time, please speak your peace or for or hold it. Hearing no complaints. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're not going to get out that easy. <laughs> okay. Now, Glenn, you're first. All I have to do is say what you think you need to say. I do. <laughs> Will you, Glenn, Kevin, Norman, take this woman to be your lawfully wedded wife? Why don't you hold hands? To live together in the holy state of matrimony and to love her, comfort her, and honor her and cherish her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, keep her unto you as long as you shall live. Natalia, will you take this man to be your lawful wedded husband, to live together in the holy state of matrimony, and to love him and comfort him, honor and cherish him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others as long as you shall live. Ring, please. Kathy? Mm -hmm. Put the ring on the Repeat after me. Um, you, with this ring, with this ring, I thee wed. I thee wed. And with all my love, with all my love, I give to you. I give to you. Mm -hmm. With this love, with this ring, excuse me, with this ring, I give my love to you forever. Kathy has a blessing, and then I'll pronounce them appropriately. What I'm going to read is a blessing for a marriage from James Dillett Freeman. May your marriage, Lenny and Natty, may your marriage bring you all the exquisite excitement a marriage should bring, and may life grant you also patience, tolerance, and understanding. May you always need one another, not so much to fill your emptiness as to help you to know your fullness. A mountain does not need a valley to be complete. The valley does not make the mountain less, but more. And the valley is more a valley because it has a mountain towering over it. So let it be. May you need one another, but not out of weakness. May you want one another, but not out of lack. May you entice one another, but not compel one another. May you embrace one another, but not out encircle one another. May you succeed in all important ways with one another and not fall in the little graces. May you look for things to praise and often say, I love you, and take no notice of small faults. If you have quarrels that push you apart, may both of you hope to have good sense enough to take the first step back. May you enter into the mystery, which is the awareness of one another's presence, no more physical than spiritual, warm and near when you are side by side, and warm and near when you are in separate rooms or even in distant cities. May you have happiness, and may you find it making one another happy. May you have love, and may you find it loving one another. And in conclusion, I affirm for this union that the light of God surrounds you and the love of God enfolds you, the power of God protects you, and the presence of God watches over you. Wherever you are, God is, and all is well. Well, it's nice and quiet. <laughs> um, with 
that blind heaven in the Tali of Yana. I declare that each of you, by witness of the people that are present, and having declared to yourselves jointly that you are husband and wife, as declared under the state of New York laws and those that are witnessing here together with Kathy's prayers. Make us the bride.
And anybody that wants to come to our house afterwards is welcome. We have coffee or, or wine or whatever. And we're over on Kemmer and Jeff and how to get there. But Glenn's ready to go, so we'll let him go. Yeah, let me, let me introduce it a little bit more. Um, I wrote this for Natalia. Um, it needs somebody that can sing, okay? So, so if Greg wants to um, sing first, because we had Frank and Lumber here. Now we didn't have a good voice, but but uh, I, I wrote the words, so it's, it's straight from the heart. And, uh, and for a uh, beautiful wife. Okay, that sounds real nice, What it says in English is that, you know, it says that it's like she's a, my heart has come into my life with this woman. Uh, when I'm with her, my life is good. Um, yeah, she, she's pretty and, and she's a nice person. Let's go. Let's go to. Uh, let's go have a good life. Let's hurry up for the good life. Let's uh, let's take it one day at a time. And uh, and then I, it goes into that uh, she's my woman for eternity, and I'm pretty grateful for it. Oh. <laughs> Oh, 
Yeah. That's so much pasta. What a cute gift. Yeah. Nice. That is cute. Any shape laws so we can just shape the color sure. to it? <laughs> so heart shape this. Martin Stadino. Yeah, it's a throw. It's like a big open it up. It's like a throw. That's beautiful. So something to put on a couch or a bed. Yeah, like a couch or the Did you pick it up? Andrew and Matt. Oh, that's beautiful. Did you pick it up here in Brussels? Oh, good one. One cannot have two memories. Oh, wait a minute. I just took a digital picture. <laughs> Go get it, Frisky. Do you want more lights? No, it's fine. Frisky. Come on. Action. <laughs> Camera. Three, two, one. Look alive, cat. <laughs> Should we just batten it all around? Well, there's the action. And she's off. Um, it's under the sofa. <laughs> <laughs> 